Hey guys, and welcome back to Twilight Princess. The finale, I think, probably, possibly, whatever. It might, or may, it may or may not be split into two parts, depending on how friggin' long this is, because the credits take so long in this game. But hey, it's the finale! That's awesome! Ugh, oh, I did this so fast. I am the master of not caring about this game, and just, just, just ugh, I don't care. Um, so yeah, finale! It's gonna be fun. Favorite boss fight in the whole game. Three hearts, one fairy. Let's do it. Screw you. Oh, I can't skip this. All right, fine. Honestly, I've had. A, I don't. Why am I talking about this like it's already at the credits? All right. Should I? Yes, I should. Fight time. <laughs> God. Ganon's puppet Zelda. Oh, I skipped actually kind of a cool moment, but oh well. You know what? None of you care. Okay, so, Ganon's Puppet Zelda. Tennis match, just like always. You don't need to shoot her with any arrows after you do that, so just reflect it back until it hits her and then you're done. <laughs> I just want to see how fast I can do this. This... Nope. Oh, that was close. Normally I'm able to dodge that perfectly, but he actually hit me. Um, this is... Um, before you ask, before you, you know, call hate and say, oh, why are you skipping this fight? It's so cool. This is indeed my favorite Ganon fight in the whole Zelda series. So trust me, I don't dislike this at all. I'm just skipping through it just because, well, you know. Yeah, you see that? That's so much fun to do. <laughs> I've never seen anybody else pull that off either. Just actually completely dodge it. But yeah, she'll fly around you and stuff. It's pretty funny. But anyway, this is my favorite Ganon fight in the entire series. So before you start thinking like I hate it, I really don't. It's awesome. And right here, uh, drop your lock and then run. Because here's the thing. Most people will try to you know do that out of the triangle and stuff. And while that does usually work, there's no reason to not just drop your lock. Because it's not... Oh! Um, she does not move fast. She never moves fast, except when she's flying towards you. That's it. Come on. Oh! Ah, Freaking Wii Remote. God. All right, here. Let's do this. Uh -huh. I don't need no friggin' milk. I got pots. <laughs> I don't need milk. I got pot. Oh, God. Ooh. There we go. Of course, on my... Um, practice runs, I beat this phase without taking any damage, so of course I get lucky with the friggin' Wii Remote. Come on. Let's do this. There we go. See, the thing is, it's it's kind of hard to stop swinging, because normally you swing, and then you move your hand back into, you know, a starting position. But in that act of moving your hand back to a starting position, it thinks you're trying to swing again. I don't care, skipping... Phase two! I love this form of Ganon. It is the coolest form he has ever taken. Screw the ending boss of freaking Ocarina of Time. This is awesome. Whoa, whoa! There we go. So, what you're gonna wanna do is attack it. Oh god, I say that way too much. Basically, what's gonna happen is, let's see. Um, aha. Now, these portals, he's gonna run out of these portals at you. Now watch, on his head, there's a spot that's shining. Shoot that with an arrow. But of course, um, watch out. Uh, he's gonna fall on you sometimes when he you know, jumps up like that. So watch out for the, watch out on the ground. You'll see his shadow before he actually falls on you. Now, let me see, am I already into the next phase? I might be because I hit him with a great spin. Yep, okay. When he starts, when he takes enough damage, it usually takes two phases to do that much damage. Um, 
when he take when he starts jumping out of the way of arrows, you want to change to Wolf Link and then wait and do and like rinse and repeat. Here we go. Oh, come on. Okay, where is he coming from? The portal he comes out of will turn blue. So just watch the portals. Okay. Okay, so now just press and hold A and then just hold the control stick to one direction. That's all you do. And then do that. And then jump on him and eat his stomach. Delicious Ganon meat. God, I wonder how much that would cost. But you know, technically, if we were if we had Ganondorf burgers, we would never run out of food because he always lives, you know? So, do it twice. Ooh, jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that ain't happening, man. Wink weighs about 120 pounds in this form, and I'm pretty sure Ganondorf in that form weighs about 2,000 pounds. So, <laughs> I don't care how strong Midna is, there's no way that Wink wouldn't be pushed back. But, okay. Phase 2 done! No damage that time. And even on that first one, because um, when you shoot him and he starts sliding towards you, um, if he hits you in the middle of that slide, like if he actually comes into contact with you, it counts as a hit. So you want to be careful about that. Okay, so phase three. I hate this phase. I think everybody hates this phase. Oh, pfft. Jeez, what the hell was that? Oh, oh Zelda, get out of the way. I can't jump on the horse the good way. Where is he? Okay, there he is. Um, this battle is very annoying. Because, as you can see... Oh, pfft. See, he's... This is actually really annoying. I think it's very badly programmed. Because here's the deal. You have to get behind Ganondorf. But every time you start, he's going to run around like that. He's going to be behind you on by default. And you have to somehow get around behind him. Jeez. Okay. Oh, pfft. And you see, I couldn't do anything there. If I'd stopped, he would have just hit me. And you, it's like you have to glitch it out. Oh, Screw you, man. That's so stupid. All right, here we go. That's, how, that's the only way you can get that to work. Just get on your horse before he, you know. Oh, watch out for those guys, too. He's going to start throwing the balls at you. Oh, what the? Oh, Zelda, you suck. Or maybe Epona sucks. That's why I call her Animal. She doesn't even deserve a name. That's how stupid the horse is. Whew. He's going to throw those balls at you, and it's going to spawn like ghost horsemen. If they hit you, they're going to knock you off your horse. Obviously. God. I really, 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 really hate this freaking phase. It's so stupidly programmed. But okay. Of course, I can't get the luck that I had in my second playthrough of this game. Second three heart run, I did this in seconds flat, and I took no damage, somehow. Okay. You see, I tried to stop there, and it still didn't work. You really do just have to try to get him as he's running away, like that. You just gotta be really quick to get on your horse. Okay, <laughs> you have to get on your horse. Oh God. Heck, cannon doors. Ganon Dorsh, Ganon Douche, how about that? At least in this freaking phase. <sighs> Bull crap. I really, oh my god. But you see what I'm doing here, right? You see what you have to do? It's nearly impossible. Because of the way they designed it, like, you gotta get in front of someone who's by default right behind you. Which is really stupid. And it's not like this is a freaking fighter jet. You can't do a backflip or anything like that. Come on. Oh, Zelda, you suck at this. You should be a good shot. The only thing you do in the castle is just sit around and shoot your stupid bow. There. Come on. That's all you gotta do. Oh, what the? Nothing ha- <sighs> Okay. 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 Screw you. I'm running away. <laughs> Come get me. Come at me, bro. I think he's coming behind me. Yep, there he is. Oh, I hate you. I hate you, Nintendo. Why do you design such crappy final battles? This is the only problem I have with this game, is this freaking fight. It's terrible. This one fight. Every other horse... Where is he? There he is. 
Ha! Shoot him! Oh my god! Aim at him, you stupid whore! Aim your stupid white bow at him! Thank you. There we go! God, I hate that phase! It sucks! It sucks so hard! But okay, now we get to the fun phase. Well, the last two. The first one was annoying, the, the second one's freaking awesome, the third one is a just complete ass, and this one is awesome too. And I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't skip this. <laughs> I would if I could, though. Yeah, yeah. Shut up with your stupid monologuing. Let's fight. Come on. No, I would not hear your desire. I would come up and just start fighting. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? Like if there was an like if there was a game or like a movie where an enemy's trying to give his fight like his monologue and everything, you know, like James Bond villain monologue. And then like right right in the middle of it, the guy the hero just comes up and starts attacking him, like bitch slaps him. That'd be hilarious. Okay, so this is so much fun. Oh my god, I love this phase. All right. Actually, here, let's see. I know that Oh jeez. All right, okay, fine. If you want to play that way, I can play. Come on. So, um, you can see on his cape there, it's actually covered in cuts. So that kind of gives you the hint that you need to, you know, get around behind him, use backslice and stuff. But he's going to block just about 90% of whatever you throw at him. Whew. He's very fun to fight, though. He's definitely the most skilled fighter you're going to have to deal with. Um, he's got a lot of different, like, weird movement attacks and everything. Like that, he'll jump out of the way, and then he'll immediately try to stab you. I can't pull... There. Thank you. There we go. See, like that. And then he'll immediately jump out of the way. It, the, the only thing that's annoying is that with attacks like that, or like with uh, his evasive maneuvers, they give you no opportunity to actually, you know, hit him from that. Come on. Come on, do the thing. Come on. Come on, you're not being any fun. Oh, what the? I dodge his attack and I just run smack into the freaking pain force field? Oh. <laughs> God. Oh, hey, there it is. I knew it. Give me that. Hey, wait, no. No. Oh, I got to get a fairy in front of Ganon. Get it? Yeah. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, my God. I'm just imagining Ganon's face. He's standing right there. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, uh, hang on. Let me get this fairy in this bottle. Ow. I guess that's what I get for doing that. I get Sparta kicked right in the face. Ugh. Man, I missed my chance again. <laughs> I get Sparta kicked right in my freaking face for getting a fairy in front of him. That's hilarious. Um, give me the heart. Okay, good. God, I've never seen anybody play this fight up or laugh so much. I've never seen anybody get the fairy in the middle of the fight, that's for sure. But you see how easy they make this game? They give you a free life in the middle of the final boss battle. I mean, oh my god. Please, make it easier for me. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so just keep hitting him. He's going to take a lot of hits, regardless of whatever you're hitting him with. Come on, please do the thing. And let me actually take advantage of it. And God, this camera angle is awesome. The cinematography in this uh, final battle is awesome, though. I love the low angle shot of Ganondorf every time you're locked onto him. And that's two. I think you got to get him to do that about three times. On the third time, you're able to hit him. Come on. Okay. Sparta kick. Oh, I should have totally been able to hit him after that. There we go! Did you see that? Mm. Oh man, I live for that kind of stuff. So much, It's so much fun to actually get a combo going on this guy because you never ever get to do that. I'm just 
babbling about nothing. I'm not even talking about the freaking fight. But oh well. Did you guys actually expect me to take this fight seriously? I mean, this isn't a serious fight. This is more just like a button mashing, have fun, have fight. Oh, I can't skip. Oh, I can't skip it. Crap. That would have been amazing. Just skip right there. That would have been brilliant. I dislocated my jaw! Yeah, it really does look like it, though, doesn't it? Ugh. <sighs> Game and set. Freaking third phase. Can I skip this? No, of course I can't skip this. Alright, fine. This is one of the weirdest freaking deaths of any final boss in any game, though. I gotta give him that. At least it's freaking weird. Because, just wait. If you've not seen this ending before, you're gonna be kind of surprised at how he dies. Because it's not anything, like, super epic or, like, cool. Like in, um, Maj uh, not Majora's Mask. Like in, uh, uh, Wind Waker Returns to Stone. You'll see. Just watch. He is currently wondering how he's still breathing with a sword in his stomach. So Zank appears before him and then pops his neck and then his eyes go white and he dies and he remains standing with the sword in his stomach. I don't know. I don't know why you're asking, but I don't know. And he just keeps standing there. They don't even take the sword out of him. <laughs> Ugh. You know, you'd think they would actually try to burn his body so that he can't get resurrected again, but whatever. Wait, wait, what, isn't there? Oh, yeah, there is four. Okay, I couldn't see Lanayru for a second there. It's like, where the frick is the fourth one? Because <laughs> I could see the four balls of light, but I couldn't see Lanayru because he's hidden behind Farron's stupid tail. Oh, by the way, um, well, if something happened with Midna, we thought she was dead for a second there, but don't worry, she's okay. Yeah, I just, I, that was one of those parts that I skipped, so, <laughs> uh, don't worry, that thing that you didn't know happened, it, it didn't happen. Just so you know. Can I please skip this? I could, though. I could always just edit it out, but, eh, we only got, like, a few seconds left of this. But here, here's the thing. Remember all the Twilight people and stuff? How they all moan? Remember what I was talking about before? That's Midna. So that's her when she's uncursed and blah, blah, blah. She's Twilight. Yeah. We totally didn't expect this. Except I did. Okay. And see, she talks just fine. I don't know why the rest of the Twilight people don't talk, but she talks. <sighs> but I don't know. It's like... Uh... <laughs> Whatever. Game over. Yay. Okay. But really, honestly, though, this song is awesome. I love this credit song. But yeah, that was Twilight Princess. Don't even ask me why I even decided to do this at all, because I'm really not even a Zelda fan. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this, honestly, the, the idea to come up with, or the idea to do this came to me this year. And it normally never dawns on me to do a project in the same year that I have other projects planned. That usually never happens. Like, ever. So, I don't know where this came from. Honestly, I just... I was bored. I think I was between games. Like, um... Like, I... I buy my games on eBay, blah, 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 blah. And I had, like... 
I had finished all the games I had just bought, and so I was waiting on some others to come in the mail, and I was like, eh, why don't we do a three-heart run? I've never done one before. So I popped it in and did a three-heart run, and I actually really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun, because I felt like I was actually, you know, being professional by doing it, even though this is a really freaking easy game. But yeah, um... I just did a three heart run for no reason and I really enjoyed it and I felt like, eh, you know, that wasn't, that was fun. I actually had a surprising amount of fun doing it. So, I'll, I guess I'll record it. Sure, I mean, I'm not hunting for heart pieces so it won't take long. And man, it didn't take long. This took no time. Oh my god, this took no time at all. Oh, I could have cut out so much more probably, but... Oh, wait, what else could I have cut out? I don't think I could have, really. I mean, I cut out just about everything that I could have. And I do mean everything. Eh, whatever. <sighs> so now... Um, now we just gotta wait for these freaking long credits. We're probably gonna be here for another ten minutes or so, and honestly, I... <laughs> you know, it would be just like me to just cut this off in the middle of the credits, wouldn't it? I think I might. I might. You know what? I will. Next time, it's going to be something different. Okay? It's going to be something new. And it's going to be something that I adore. Okay? It's going to be awesome. So you know what? I'm cutting it off.